Do other colleagues that want to ask questions? Yes. Um. Sure. Thanks a lot. Matthew Lee, Inner City Press. I wanted to ask, uh, um, I saw in the press release you're talking about, the, you know, the value of, of employment. And I wanted to ask about a different part of uh, uh, immunity other than parking tickets, which is that I've received at least, uh, you know, complaints from people that work for, for diplomats and others that, are, that in fact have no protection. There have been a number of domestic workers who were abused and couldn't get any, any, any accountability from their employer because they're covered by diplomatic immunity. There was a recent case of domestic abuse where a diplomat uh, uh, flew out of the country. So I'm wondering, one, does the de Blasio administration have any plan to deal with a, a kind of a, 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 at least a pocket of lawlessness, not parking tickets, but more serious problems? And I wanted to know also if the, if, if the, the administration has any position on Haiti cholera. I know it's in Haiti, but there are many Haitians in, Brook, in, in New York City as a whole, in Brooklyn in particular, and, and it's been an ongoing issue where, where the failure to, to pay the victims of cholera that most people think was introduced by the UN there. So I just wondered, since you said that the administration has these UN views. And I have one question for Ms. Gayach, if you can give some update on, I see it as a New York issue, uh, the, this Englap Sang bribery case that's pending in the Southern District of New York, here in New York. It's another aspect of contracting at the, at the UN, but it hasn't been resolved. It's going to trial in January. Uh, a superseding indictment was filed that says that the South-South News entity was a, bri was a bribery conduit. This is a u word used by Preet Bharara. So, I'm wondering, Ms. Gayat, since I've asked you about this previously and your response was to evict the press that asked and to leave South-South News in the House, now that the superseding indictment has been filed, what, is, what do you think has your thinking changed? Thank you. I, um, on, the, on the question around the domestic violence, the de Blasio administration through this office takes that, those kinds of issues very seriously. We work with our partners at the State Department and throughout the missions to ensure that um, we are making sure that all of our New York City services through our family justice centers are open um, to anyone who needs to access them irrespective um, of their their diplomatic status there. New Yorkers are able to access the very um, comprehensive services that we provide uh, to those um, that are experiencing domestic violence. But these are all issues that we take very seriously. I will have a comment, a brief one on Haiti cholera. You know very well the work that was being done last week and that will continue to be done on the two-track approach. And as you can imagine, the main focus uh, of that work is uh, uh, to um, direct it to the Haitians in Haiti. Uh, we, uh, as you heard from the Secretary General, uh, are extremely committed uh, to uh, not only help eradicate cholera, but uh, to support the communities that have been uh, uh, victims of uh, the epidemic. And on the latest case that you mentioned, I don't have any update, but I'm ready to uh, learn uh, with my colleagues uh, from OLA and others. If there is anything, I'll be absolutely ready to share it with you. Thank you. Other questions? Since you're here, I wanted to ask you, I guess these are kind of security questions. One, I saw the letter yesterday by the mayor to uh, President Obama asking for, for, for money for security around Trump Tower. So it made me wonder, and I, I'd been wondering this actually, does, does, does New York ever seek recompense for the, for the security costs of the General Assembly? I mean, I found, I found something in the past where they did. And I also wanted to ask you, you may know that the, the, the cafeteria here has been closed and unused for more than a year. And it has to do with, with uh, the security concerns, but also not closing the, the, the ramp off the FDR. And I don't know if the, if, the, if the administration, part of that's NYPD, but I mean, is it, what's the administration's thinking in terms of leaving that whole part of the building empty? And finally, Legionnaire's disease. This was something that happened, uh, you know, when, when all the buildings were being, when many buildings were being inspected, it took a long time to get an answer out of the UN whether they were being inspected, whether they felt they were, were subject to the New York City health and other rules. So. Are they or, or are they not? And how do you, how do you ensure that, that things that are a public self health issue are covered here? Thanks. Absolutely. Um, <clears throat> to your first question, you must have missed the part in my, um, in my remarks, uh, but we do um, get reimbursement under the Protection of Foreign Missions and Officials Program. Um, in 2014, about 73% of the funding that was re uh, requested um, was reimbursed by the federal government, but usually it's about 77% of these costs. So we have, um, a, a, to answer your question, we do in fact get them reimbursed for that. Um, <clears throat> uh, 
the city has, through whether it's the fire department, our Department of Health, NYPD, um, all of our key agencies have their counterparts at the UN that we work very closely with. Um, I know that the UN takes uh, public health as seriously as New York City does, and we work in partnership to ensure that that is, um, that is taken care of in a way that is uh, important um, to, to New York City in terms of public health. And what about the cafeteria and the ramp? The cafeteria and the ramp, that's right. I was, sorry, I was trying to remember what that second question was. Um, we take it very seriously. There is an NYPD car that is on that ramp um, uh, during the most important times. It is an issue that we are still working to find a long-term long uh, resolution to. But that said, um, in the interim, the city takes the safety of the UN and its workers very seriously. Um, and it's something that we've figured out a short-term um, um, uh, situation too, but we are in conversation and we'll continue around a long-term uh, resolution. Yeah, all the questions, colleagues? So we'll bring it to closure. Well, Evelyn, you have I the just last one. wanted to say I forgot to welcome you on behalf okay. of the <laughs> UN Correspondents Association. <laughs>